welcome back to Gen Beauty. My name is Jennifer, and here on my channel, I like to talk about all things beauty and makeup. But today, I have a declutter series, and I'm going to use the same intro for each video, and probably also the same outro. So I'll just give you a quick rundown. The makeup in the videos that has actually been decluttered went to my daughters with the exception of like one or two items. Anything that needed to be thrown away because it was old and gross was thrown away. It was disposed of properly. So that is where everything went. And if you are looking for like a cutthroat gets rid of half of her collection video, I'll allow you to bow out now because that's definitely not what was happening here. I wanted to just make sure my collection that I have is fresh and there's nothing old or anything that I just don't find myself reaching for or enjoying. So without further ado, let's get into face palette. I think I have 22 here if I counted correctly. I did have to move the setup so that I could sit down because my legs were really bothering me. But I'm going to start with my stack of larger palettes first. And so first I have the Tardis Pro Glow and Blush palette. Um, when I put this on my wish list, I did not realize it was as shimmery as... It is, the blushes anyways. Obviously I knew the highlighters would be shimmery, but it's not glittery. It's just like a glowy. But at the time I was like really not into that look and now I am, so I'm gonna give it a try and see if I like all of these shades enough to, to justify keeping the palette or you know, if I feel like I maybe need to declutter it because I only like one or two shades. If I like at least half the palette, I will keep it. So it's on the chopping block, but for now she's staying. Then I have the Hip Dot Clueless palette and I have not actually used this one yet. It does have a cute heart mirror. My husband got this for me when he went to TJ Maxx and surprised me with it. I didn't know he was going to get it for me. I mean, he sent me a picture of it, but I didn't ask him to buy it for me. Anyway, uh, going to keep it. Then I have the Iconic London. This is the Blaze Chaser Face Palette. I got this in a subscription box and I actually really like it. I've done decent damage to a lot of the shades. You can't tell how much I've used it because some I swatched and then some I went back in with the brush and didn't use my finger. And you can't really tell the brush usage, but I don't feel like I've used this enough to let it go. I still like it a lot. One of my absolute most favorite face palettes is the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face or B face since it's all blurted out. Anyway, so this is what she looks like. I have a highlighter. Um, what are you? It's like a brownish type blush or a light bronzer, depending on your shade and preference. A blush, kind of more of a shimmery blush topper. And then this is a dark bronzer on me, so I would not use that one. And then this is the dark highlighter on me, so I don't touch either one of these. I could do an all, I could do a look out of just all of these with these being my eye shades and these being my cheek shades, but I am lazy and also unable to think that far in advance. But I like enough of the shades to keep the whole palette. This is the Violet Voss Pro Highlighter. Oh. Um, I got this one in a subscription box and then I got this one in a subscription box. Don't ask me what subscription box I got all of them in because I can't remember that. So this is the Violet Voss Pro Highlighter in Rose Gold palette. Um, I really like this one. I like to use this shade a lot as an inner corner highlight. And then I honestly like all of these for my cheeks. Some that are darker, I kind of just use a lighter hand with, but they're still very beautiful. So this one I will keep because I can't think of a shade in here that I just hate. Moving on to the next stack is the BH Cosmetics Ms. Bella, or Mrs. Bella Goldie palette. And this is a highlighter palette. And 
I just got this. This is brand new to my collection. Even though BH is no more, if you know me, you know I shop at TJ Maxx a lot. And if I find BH Cosmetics there and it's something I don't have and I think I might like, I'm gonna buy it. It's just the way that it is. Then we have the BH Chocolate Cherry Truffle. This is a blush palette and I've used it a couple of times. I actually used it on my daughter as well. And this shade looks just amazing on my teenager. And I like all of the shades. And then we have the BH Cosmetics Aspen palette. This is a six color highlighter palette. I did not realize, well, when I checked this in store, all of the shades were intact. By the time it got home, this blue highlighter had completely met its demise. But I mean, honestly, this blue highlighter is probably nothing I would ever really truly wear. It's a bit more icy for my taste. I really like the frostbite shade. Very pretty. Let's tackle these three because I can tell you right now that all three of these are going to go. So these are the Tarte Blush Authority Amazonian Clay Cheek Wardrobe. When I put these on my wish list, seems to be a running theme, right? I did not realize that they were like this thing that was like an all-in-one. And I don't do very well with weird packaging like this. I, it, it bothers me. It's harder to store. I don't know. Um, the colors are nice. Like I really do enjoy these blushes. I really do like these blush shades, but I just don't ever reach for this because when I'm looking for a blush, I'm typically looking for either an actual face palette or I'm looking in my blush collection and I don't really think to reach for these. So my youngest daughter, I'm pretty sure would absolutely go insane to have these and absolutely love them. This highlighter is really pretty. I have used it a decent amount, but not enough to justify keeping these. And this one's a little dark for me. Oh, that one's a little dark for me, but I mean, they're all very pretty. And Tarte has great quality cheek products. Not, not even going to front on that. And the other thing is, I wish that they were magnetic. It's like the, the tops are magnetic closure, but they don't magnetize together. It's like they almost do. Or magnetize this way, but no, they're clunky. I don't like them. End of story. So we have these two ColourPop cheek palettes. I just got these in my collection. This one is just a flush. And then this one is extra glazed. So I don't know what happened to extra glazed. Like the sticker is on there sideways, which I don't love there being a sticker on the product in the first place, but whatever. And then it doesn't, it doesn't latch. It didn't make it even to my house. So I'll give you a quick swatcheroo real quick in case you're interested, because I'm pretty sure they still have these. So these are the lighter blush shades. They're extremely light and I am very pale. And then this is the darker one in this palette. I don't know that this would, will end up being my favorite palette, but I would like to try it out to see how I feel about it. This is the highlighter, although there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of blush product in it. So I like the highlighter a lot. It's shimmery with a little bit of glittery, but not too glittery. And then oh, I made a very big mess. This white piece of furniture is not gonna be white by the time I'm done, I just know it, but that's okay. Um, this hand is wet, so I'm going to try to use this hand. We'll see how good I am at it. So this is just a flush. This is this color here. And then this is the darker color. 
It almost feels like these have hard pan already and I literally just got them like very hard pressed or if they're just light and buildable. I like them. I like the colors. It's not bad. Let's look at this bronzing shade. That's nice. It seems like it would blend out pretty nicely. All right, we're going to try. Ooh. Okay, so this highlighter is a lot creamier than the other highlighter because the other highlighter um, did not dip at all when I swatched it. And then this one went down like a brick and water. So this one's pretty high shine. It is fairly glittery. Um, if you don't like glitter on your cheeks, she's not going to be your girl. So keeping both of these to try them out. <laughs> In future, I probably see myself popping out a shade from here and putting in this highlighter and just having the bronzer, a blush, and two highlighters in it, and it being a palette that I genuinely like, but we'll see. We'll give it time. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. duo in the shade Guava. I really like the blush, but I didn't care for the highlighter on me. Now, I need to try it again with a more warm tone look and potentially a lighter hand. <laughs> this is like a nice peachy coral blush. It looks a little more orangey brown in the viewfinder when I'm looking at it, but I also have my resolution set to like very low. So I'm not sure how well this translates. In person, it looks more of like a, a, a peachy coral. For now, we're going to keep that in the collection. So I have this K Voss Hay Lighter, the Luminous Highlighter Palette in Sugar, Spice, and Everything Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Those are the shades, or Sugar, Spice, and Everything Nice. I feel like, so these are very pretty, but I feel like I have enough highlighters. If I'm going to go for a more rosy undertone highlighter or a cream highlighter. Um, I typically will go for the nesting bitch face from Pretty Vulgar or even um, the iconic London palette. I just, I feel like I have these colors over and over again. I wouldn't use this one on myself. And while it is good quality, I haven't had any issues with it. I am okay to pass it along, which I did not think I was going to do. It wasn't until I opened it that I realized I have that color over and over again. Um, I don't know if this is still available. I'm going to make the cardinal mistake that all creators make, and I am going to swatch them. So this is sugar, spice, and this is everything nice. So everything nice is definitely way too bronzy for me. Sugar is a bit icy, and then I really do like spice a lot for myself, but I, I feel like I definitely, I don't think I'm going to miss it. I don't think I'm going to be like, wow, that k -Voss highlighter palette that I decluttered, I'm going to miss it forever. If it was unique to my collection, I would absolutely keep it. Then I have the Complex Culture Overtime Contour and Blush Duo. And this is in Power Player and Pink Slip. So I really like this one. Um, hold on, let me see if I can get my hand dry enough. I really like this palette. I, this color looks very flattering on me. As a super, super pale girl, 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 as a super pale girl, girl, oh my God. As somebody who is super pale, I find this fairly flattering on my face. So I'm going to keep it. I also like the complex culture um, formula. 
So we're gonna keep giving that one some love. Now I have a palette that is only a highlighter palette. This is the Lovecraft Beauty Highlighter Palette. And this has the shades Aurora and Borealis. And at one point, I'm pretty sure I decluttered this out of my collection and then I was like, I want it back. And now I need to see, I want, I want more from them because I really do like this formula. So this is a very light pink and a nice golden shimmer. Like they're shimmery without being super glittery. So I think I'm going to keep these two. Well, the one palette with the two, because I would wear both. One of my absolute favorite duos is from Wander Beauty, and this is called the Trip for Two. And it is in the shades, it has the shades Bellini and Costa Ray. The blush color is so pretty. And then this is Bellini or Costa Ray. I feel like it's on its last leg. Bellini, Costa Ray. I feel like I feel like this is on its last leg. I don't think it'll last through another declutter. I have moved it at least twice. Well, no, twice because I was not, I got it in a subscription box. So it's less than two years old, but I used it almost exclusively for a while. So it's gotten a lot of love, but I would like to show it a little bit more before it's time to go. Then I have the Ulta Beauty Sunkissed palette, Sunkissed face palette. So this one I just got in a recent haul. I just wanted to try out the Ulta Cheek formulas. And so I got myself this palette and then I got a baked bronzer so I could try one of the pressed and one of the baked formulas and kind of have it for comparison to more expensive products to see what the formula is like and what the shades compare to. And I actually very much enjoy these cheek products. The smell when I open the palette is pretty strong. I don't know if that sits around all day on your face. I didn't love the smell of the baked bronzer in the pan, but I did not notice it bothering me at all throughout the day. So I'm going to keep this and keep trying it out and see how I feel about it. Then I have the Glodiant... Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glodiant Makeup Palette. It was a face palette. Okay. I very much despise products that are mixed like this, where you either have to get your brush or your finger right exactly in the same spot so that you don't mix them, or you have to get the same mix each time. I don't reach for this because I find that very frustrating. And then once you get past this shade, it is not my journey. It's not for me at all. So I was going to hang on to it and just see if I reach for it more. But hearing myself talk about it, that would be really dumb. So we're going to let that go. Here's the Physician's Formula Maru Maru Butter Glow Face Palette. This arrived broken, and I just did not have it in me to try to exchange it at Ulta. I did try to press it back in, but it's so buttery soft that you can see that it just kind of wants to explode back out of the pan. It's a very pretty highlighter. I would like to keep it, but I'll be honest, if it keeps being like... A massive inconvenience to have to clean up each time I'm probably gonna declutter it I just I love that it's it's just so shimmery and it's not too opaque and it's just like that beautiful sweaty shimmer and then the blush is also very pretty and so is the bronzer 
the blush is on the glowy side and so is the bronzer. So if you want a matte bronzer and blush, then this is not the way to go at all. I don't find myself using all three together at one time because that's a little too glowy for me, but I do like them and would like to keep trying them out more. And if I absolutely am in love with this, I may try to repurchase if it's still available. If it's not, well, I gave it a good old college try. Then we have the Zoeva Premier Superior Pigmentation. Okay, we have the Zoeva Premier Blush Palette. And I decluttered this to my daughter and then I stole it back. And I think I'm going to declutter it back to her again. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to do the inside of my hand. My hand is too wet. Like, this is just, it's way too dark for me. I'm not really sure what I was thinking, except I really like this shade here as like a glowy moment. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking. She's seven. She can wear whatever the hell she wants. <laughs> she can be as deep or glowy as she wants to. Uh, and then we have the Pure Fair Light Face Palette. Okay, so for a while, I almost exclusively used this as like a bronzer almost, because it goes on a bit deeper. But it's truly more of like an illuminating powder. So I, I used it in conjunction with a bronzer. And I was rearranging my room and dropped the stupid thing on the floor and it made me so, so sad. <sighs> I pressed it back in, <laughs> again, not very well because it's like buttery soft. That's the only problem with these super buttery soft products is they're very hard to press back in. And I actually looked into potentially repurchasing it, but I don't think that's the best use of my money. I really enjoy this palette. If it makes too much of a mess, I'm just going to clean out that shade and just use the rest of it. Let it go. So I'm going to keep it for now. I'll probably get very annoyed with it by the next declutter and it'll go. In total, I am getting rid of... I am getting rid of six and I am keeping 17. So I am perfectly fine with that number. I honestly thought I was only going to get rid of these three for sure when I sat down. So I got rid of twice as many as I thought I was going to. This is still an insane amount of face palettes to have for any one person, but uh, even if I was not doing YouTube, Instagram, and all that jazz, I would still own this many without any shame or apology for it because I love makeup and this is what I enjoy. All right, and that's gonna wrap it up for today's declutter. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you'd like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.